Hello and welcome back to ESBL Boxing. Um, flying solo tonight just for a, a quick reaction video to the David Benavidez and uh, Demetrius Andrade weigh in for the WBC Interim Super Middleweight Championship um, tomorrow night. Um, straight into it, it was a, a pretty standard weigh in. Um, no real beef, no arguments. Um, pretty standard to be fair. Handshake at the end. Um, it was a face off was relatively short compared to a lot so no animosity at all um obviously we, we do like sometimes uh, to be a bit of we'll say aggro um but yeah nice and friendly very professional um straight into it as i said both men look very good on the scales um both made weight comfortably with um david benavidez coming in at 167 and demetrius andrade coming in at 167 and a half um, considering they're both quite big at the weight, especially Benavidez being sort of six foot three, um, he, he, fairly skinny Benavidez. Um, but I think, like you say, once he he fills out um, and he, he refuels, sorry, not fills out, um, gets some water in him, gets that weight back on. I think when you look at his frame and his stature, I think Benavidez could easily go up and fight a light heavyweight and look comfortable at that weight. Um, so it just shows how big they actually are at super middle. Um, again, for Andrade, um, fairly comfortable at the weight, looks good, um, looks ready to go, looks in shape. Um, so yeah, the, the actual weigh in itself, um, pretty self explanatory, pretty straightforward. Both men look good, nice and harmonious. Um, and yeah, both men just look ready to go. In terms of the actual fight itself, um, David Benavidez defends the interim title for the second time. Um, you know, Benavidez got that big win over Caleb Plant, um, something that I think Demetrius Andrade is missing on his CV. Um, Demetrius Andrade has been extremely inactive, especially for a, a two-time world champion. Um, I know he was supposed to have that sort of big sort of would you, would you call it a coming out fight against Zach Parker at Derby's Pride Park, um, which obviously got cancelled. He's fought seven times since October uh, 2018, which for a world champion is pretty pathetic, to be honest. Um, one of the more inactive fighters, um, especially at the, the top level. Um, whereas Benavidez is on a good run. You know, he, he cruised through um, David Lemieux, stopping him nice and easy. Um, he'd gone on to, like I say, beat Caleb Plant and we've seen what Caleb Plant can do in the ring. Obviously, his stoppage over Andre Doral was unbelievable. Um, highlight real knockout. Um, a really good fighter at the, at the top level. He's only really come undone at elite level. So having a win over someone like Caleb Plant um, on your CV um, is it, it's, it's really good for someone like David Benavidez. You know, 27 wins, 23 knockouts. Um, He's shown he's, he's heavy-handed, he's got a lot of power. Um, and to be honest, the winner of this, um, especially if it is to be Benavidez, has got to be looking at the Canelo fight. You know, Canelo's still the king at 168, um, holds the WBC belt, which obviously the, the interim version of is on the line. Um, so you'd, you'd like to think it would be Canelo next, but obviously Canelo's still got that bivol loss hanging over his shoulder that I'm sure he'll be looking to... Uh, right the wrongs um of that performance I'm not saying he necessarily can but that is a fight that i do sort of i do see canelo wanting to take next you know he's been on a, a good run of golovkin Ryder, um and uh jamal charlo excuse me i forgot there um where it was embarrassing from charlo and easy work for Golo um for canelo sorry so yeah i think Benavidez, um, definitely the, the right, least favourite going into this fight. Um, we do do a, a quick prediction on these videos, um, so even flying solo, I will go with mine. I do think David Benavidez is going to show levels to Demetrius Andrade. Um, I think Andrade will start fairly quickly and I just think um, that Benavidez will take over in the fight. Um, and I think mid to late rounds, sort of, Round seven, round eight, I think that's where Benavidez's class and power will definitely show. Um, and then that's, I think, where David Benavidez will stop Demetrius Andrade. But as I say, both men look good. Both men look healthy. Um, they look big and strong at the weight. 
especially when they're going to refuel, um, add that water weight back on. Um, but yeah, I, I think David Benavidez edges it, you know, in, in stature, in height, um, in size and just everything really in general, even from the way in through to ring craft. Um, I'll be back in David Benavidez tomorrow night. Um, but yeah, just a quick reaction video. So let me know what you think. If you think I'm wrong um, and Demetrius Andrade looked much better, does Benavidez look gaunt? Um, will Andrade come out on top and get that sort of big first win on his CV? Because at the minute, arguably his biggest win is Liam Williams. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. Let me know what you think. Um, like, subscribe and tune in and hopefully my prediction is correct.